Hello in algebra, today let's talk about the transpose of a matrix and this right here is actually not so bad to do because the only thing that we have to do is to interchange the rows of a matrix with columns and that's it and let me give you guys an example real quick and this right here works for any size matrix so let me say A is equal to a 2 by 4 matrix let's say we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9 in that case, our A transpose is going to be the following. We take this row and put it as a column. So we have 1, 2. And then this will become 3, 4, and then 5, 6, and then 7, 9. Just like that, right? And if you have a square matrix, it's pretty much the same thing. And here's the key notation that you have to know, right? So this is the definition in terms of using the notation for that. Well, pay attention to the entries. For example, if you look at the 6, where is the 6? This is in the third row, second column. So we will write this as A, 3, 2, right? And now, where is the 6 right here? As you can see, this is the second row and the third column. So we will write this as A transpose, and it happens at 2, 3, right here. Right? Second row, third column. Alright, so here's the deal. If you have A transpose, this right here, if you look here, it's I, J's entry. This is actually the same as look at the A matrix, but you look at the J, I entry. So this right here is the key. And there are some properties, and I'm going to write down a few of them, and I'm going to prove one for you guys. So here we go. Here are some properties that you should definitely know properties first one imagine if you have a transpose already but you do the transpose again and what will happen we did the transpose if we do it again then we pretty much will just go back to the original right so that's pretty much it and i think it's pretty clear so i'm not going to prove that and in fact in my opinion uh the proofs for the super obvious statements are actually pretty hard so let me not prove that but anyway though this right here works for any matrix right it works for any matrix it doesn't have to be square matrix all right second one suppose let's look at two matrix adding up together right so the sum of two matrix and of course when we are adding we have to make sure that they have to have the same dimension so let's say both of them have to be you know n by n of course, they can be square as well. Anyway, after we add them, let's then do the transpose. In that case, if we add first, do the transpose, it's actually the same as we do the transpose and then add. So we have A transpose plus B transpose. And I think this right here is fairly obvious as well so i'm not going to prove this one either you can just test out some examples and you'll see oh it works really nicely yeah so that's that's the idea all right third one and you guys may be wondering now which one am i going to prove right i am going to prove one for you guys for sure all right if you have a and before you do a transpose you multiply by some constant let's say k and then you do the transpose all right well this right here it's actually the same as do the transpose first, so a t right here, and then multiply the result by k. That's uh, actually also legitimate, it's also pretty obvious in my opinion, but just keep that in mind as well. Now we have a couple more slightly more interesting ones. Number four, let's talk about product. By the way, this right here works for any matrix, right? Number four, let's look at product a b and in this case we have to make sure that well the dimension of a has to be let's say m by n and let's say dimension of b has to be starting with n and then multiply by whatever right m by p for example anyway just make sure the dimension works and then if you have this and do the transpose if you think that a b transpose is equal to a transpose b transpose then let me tell you it's wrong and this right here might be kind of weird 
Yeah, because when you multiply matrices, it's weird, right? This right here is actually the same as B transpose times A transpose. And this is the one that I will prove for you guys, right? And then number five, another thing that you can know is that, well, if you can find the determinant of a matrix where the matrix is uh, square, so if you have the determinant of a matrix, but let's say you look at its uh, transpose first, right? The determinant of the A transpose, it's actually the same as the determinant of A, right? Uh, I think this one is also fairly okay to prove. You can just use the cofactor expansion, the determinant, etc. Right? So uh, maybe next time. And perhaps the next one, number six, it's actually similar to number four. If you have A inverse, suppose you have an invertible matrix, and then you do the transpose. This right here, it's actually the same as if you do the transpose first, and then look at whatever this is and do the inverse. And I think this is pretty cool. In fact, you can use this right here to help you to prove that, right? So that's pretty much the ones I can come up with. And I think the common ones, if you know more, please leave a comment down below and let us know more. Now, claim of five, right? So this is just proof of property number four. And to do so, I will have to recall a few things with you guys. First, we have this right here already, but because we're talking about the product of two matrix, I will have to remind you guys how we can find the product of two matrix. Suppose we have A times B. Of course, they will have to be good dimensions. Well, the key is look at the I, J entry. So let's write this down right here. This right here, you guys can check out my other video. In fact, we can write this down as a summation. This is the sum as k goes from 1 to n, and then we have little a. It's just the entry from the matrix A, but you look at the i, k entry, and then you multiply by b, k, j entry. So this right here is the recall, and check out my other video for this product formula right here, right? So this is what we have to use to help us out. Now, here's the deal. To prove this, we can just go from the left-hand side and try to end up with the right-hand side. But when we're trying to show the transpose are equal to the other, all we have to do is just make sure that all the entries of the result are equal. So we'll be looking at this. So let me put this down. This is the check that we have to do. We check A, B transpose. Right? But we look at its i, j entry, and hopefully we can end up with the same i, j entry of this guy. And in that case, we can say that the left hand side and the right hand side are equal. Now, how can we do this? First of all, to take off the transpose, all we have to do is switch the i and j. You see, to take off the transpose, we can just switch the i and j. So this right here, it's actually the same as a, B, no more transpose, but here it becomes J, I, right? So that's what we have. Now, look at this carefully though. I'll put this down here actually. This right here, it's almost the same as that. The red J is the blue, it's the red I. Well, well, anyway, the J right now is the I earlier, and then the I right now is the J earlier. But anyway, we are going to use this formula right here, right? So, let me just kind of box this in blue. I know, I know, this is not a box, I'm sorry. But fine. Here we go. This right here, it's going to be the summation. K goes from 1 to N. And you see, you have the I, I, I goes first. And then whatever this is, then just have a small letter. So here we have little a. And this time, J goes first. So we have J, and then K, and then B. And then we have the K, and then we end up with I. Right, so I'm using this right here for that. It's just, again, the I and J got switched. So that's what we have. Now, I kind of want to change the water, right? Because that's essentially what we are trying to do right here. But we can actually just change the water right here. Why? Because this and that, they're just regular numbers, 
Liana matrix. A, J, K is just the entry from the matrix, right? So it's just a number. So we can just reverse this. This is the same as the sum as K goes from 1 to N. Let me put this down first, which is B, K, I times A, J, K. That's totally legit. Now, I kind of want to use this again. But if we want to do that, we will have to make sure that this and that number match. They both have to be K. I have K, I, and then this is J, K. I can only reverse it. So I can reverse the index right here. We look at this. Can go backwards. You see, we have J, I. We can change that, but you just have to make sure you do the transpose right here. All right, I use little b, but right here, when I reverse, let me first write down, we have the sum as n goes from as k goes from 1 to n. But I'm going to switch it. I want to make sure I get i, k right here. But, you know this b, k, i is just a number from the matrix b, right? Well, it's the same notation as saying, let's look at the i, k entry from the capital B, right? The matrix B, but we look at its transpose. So I will write down B transpose, like so. So that's the first part. And again, all we are doing is just using this backwards. And in fact, if you have capital A, J, I, this you can write here as little a, j, i, s. Okay, yeah. Alright, now, we do the same thing. We're going to switch this and becomes k, j, and then here, I will just have a transpose. And now you see the k and k right here match, right? And then we have this. So what can we do? This right here means we are looking at the i, j entry, right? This right here means that we are looking at the i, j entry of the product of two matrices. What are they? B transpose and A transpose. And that's exactly what we have over there. And as you can see, we are saying that the entries of this thing is equal to the matrix is and is equal to the entry of this thing for all entries. So the results are the same. So this right here, we are done. Very nice. Right? Now you guys can think about how to prove 5 and 6, and the hint to prove 6 is you can use number 4. And for this, maybe use the cofactor or other method. And then if you have any other properties, leave a comment down below and let me know. At the moment, that's it. Coming up next, I will do some symmetric matrix for you guys with some little proof. Right?